So would you talk a little bit about your astrological work and how it benefits your clients? I feel like the real benefit of the astrological work with clients is for them to understand at a really deep level who they are. You know, this is the roadmap of their soul. This tells them where they've been in prior lives, the kind of energy and karma that's coming to fruition at this point in time. Yeah. It tells them a lot about their family life, the circumstances that they've already been through, so you can validate it for them and say, yes, this was happening then and then, and so they get the understanding of the way a path unfolds and yeah. the positive meaning of even the darkest experiences and the darkest circumstances. Yes. And then it, it tells you really a lot about what your soul's path is and you know the direction of growth and certainly the periods of time that you're going to be in. So I use the astrology chart very much on a soul level overview kind mm -hmm. of, of purpose. Uh, I do primarily evolutionary astrology, mm. uh, which is really looking at every single thing in the chart from the perspective of having meaning based on the soul's evolution. Right. Uh, you know, it can also tell us something about uh, the kind of past life story that we've been in. I don't think that the chart on that level can tell us the specifics or the details. And to be honest, I have uh, my own feelings about past lives you know okay. I, I can also look at past lives as a psychic I can tell people about their past lives as I see them I can lead people because I'm also a hypnotherapist I can lead people into past life regressions where they can see past lives but I actually believe that the information that we get about past lives the importance of it is for us to understand more clearly the kind of uh, archetypal energy that we're carrying within us and to help us heal mm. I actually believe that many lives are going on at the same time it's not linear oh. and that we we are so much bigger as souls than these personal lifetime experiences that we have in these past life scenarios that the real the real beauty and the real healing is when we feel the energy of the past life through us and we integrate and we heal whatever that particular lesson is. So we don't have to know the story. I think a lot yeah. of times as humans we get really interested in the stories. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, and, I'm, and I'm Irish in origin <laughs> and we love stories. Yes. But I agree with you. What's the point if mm -hmm. it doesn't help you in healing and growing in this life? So, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We don't want to get trapped in the story. So yeah. the story, yeah. just like the, the information in the chart. And the other thing that I really feel is important in working with uh, the people I work with uh, with their astrology chart yeah. is that it, it it shifts it from it just being me and my psychic channeling power saying well this is the way it is and this is what's going to happen yeah. it, it takes it to the place where the person can really uh, take more responsibility for what's going on. Fantastic. They can they can understand that this chart is their birth imprint. Mm -hmm. They can learn something more about it themselves. Mm -hmm. There's so much online these days that they can read about. Mm -hmm. And I think that knowing more about a, a person's astrology chart really helps empower them. I was just going to say it sounds incredibly mm -hmm. empowering. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. What distinguishes your offering from other astrologers? I know there's. Um, a lot of them out there. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I think what distinguishes me is that what I'm doing is I'm integrating the, uh, the astrology work, mm. my own psychic ability, and the process work I do, what I call process work, which okay. is a combination of psychosynthesis counseling, uh, hypnotherapy, especially past life regression or spirit releasement work, mm -hmm. and the spiritual or psychic healing I'm able to do manipulating energy in a person's space, helping to ground them or helping to open them up if that's what they're asking for. Mm -hmm. So when I'm in an astrology reading with a person, I begin by actually connecting into their energy field. I connect in psychically and I get a sense of who they are in this moment, what's going on for them from what I can read in the aura and from what spirit is channeling to me. Mm. That really allows me to understand at a pretty clear and deep level 
how a person is actually working with their chart. Because one of the things that we can say about astrology, since so many people have an identical or similar chart and a dog or a cat can have yes. the same chart as a person has, is that the, the one variable is consciousness, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And so when I connect in psychically with a person, I get to feel their consciousness. I see mm. where they are open, where they are closed. Mm. I can tell from that psychic connection how they are operating through the chart. And that allows me, when I then connect into the chart, which I do after I've connected in psychically, yeah. I connect into the chart and then I am looking first at where has this person been on a soul level? What is the meaning of this life for them? What are they really trying to accomplish? So I take the reading out of the mundane details that sometimes astrology can get lost in. And stuck. You know, really really stuck. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's true of like, you know, well this is gonna happen and that's going yeah. to happen. Yeah. Uh, certainly I will answer questions for people about the details that they wish to know in terms yes. of timing and specifics. Yes. But my, my perspective is always to assist a person in really seeing the bigger picture of their life. Fantastic. You know, seeing what's really going on and the positive meaning in even some of the more difficult experiences. Fantastic. Wow, that sounds great.